Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the song The Rest Will Flow by Porcupine Tree. We are in standard tuning and we start with the intro and verse, which is uh, almost the entire song. The first chord is a G major, 3 on the low E string, 3 on the B string, and 3 on the high E string, like this, without our index finger, because we need it for the G major 7, which is the next chord, we go, okay, so from 3 on the high E string, we go to, so, two on the high E string. The rest of the chord stays the same, like this, from G to G major 7, a little bit like uh, something Jimmy Page would play, reminds me of uh, Led Zeppelin a little bit. Okay, so G, G major 7. Then we have our second chord, which is a C at 9. So the only thing we change here is the bass note. From 3 on the low E string, we go to 3 on the A string. So this is a C at 9 chord. And again we go from 3 on the high E string to 2 on the high E string. So, this is most of the song. Then the next part is the chorus, which is uh, B flat. This time they don't play it like this. This is how how they often play it, but this time it's a it's a regular B flat chord. We have the first fret on the A string, and then we have a bar on the 3rd fret from the D string to the high E string, like this. So, 1st fret on the A string, then we have the 3rd fret on the D string with our, uh, with our ring finger, and then we have the 3rd fret on the G string with our pinky and then we do a bar with our pinky and our uh, ring finger. That makes it easier. Okay, so. I know. Then we have an A uh, minor 7. Regular A minor would be like this. So, 2 on the D string, 2 on the G string, and 1 on the B string. And here we just lift our ring finger and we have the open G string. Okay? That's our A minus 7. So B flat, I know. to the G. So I know, I know, of the rest will flow. To the next verse. So that's
that's our chorus, B flat, A, back to G. <clears throat> the last part of the song is um, it's the end, it's a little bit uh, different, we go from G. So we have a D, like this, so it's 2 on the G string, 3 on the B string, and 2 on the E string, that's the regular G, D chord, I'm sorry, D major, and here we take our pinky and add it to the 3rd fret on the high E string, then we lift it up. go to an F major chord, so we bar the first fret, and then we go 3 on the A string, 3 on the D string, 2 on the G string. F major to C major, so 3 on the A string, 2 on the D string, and 1 on on the B string, and then finally to our G chord. So, all of the rest will flow. Like this. played like this, like an F major 7, so you use your thumb for the, for the bass note, and then you leave the E string open. Yeah, or you can also... Oh no, that doesn't... Doesn't fit. The C at nine doesn't fit here, so it's a, it's a regular C chord. Okay. <coughs> Beautiful song. and Happy New Year, everyone.